Hey everyone. Today we would like to introduce you to Anahat, a home to a family of 4 with a son who is a polo player. Designed by Ant Studio, this house is located at a stable farm in Noida. With a built-up area of 4000 square feet, the key design feature is the fluid upper floor with zinc panels. It is an experimental intervention that sits on the top of the renovated existing structure. The design blends the future with the past through a vernacular Indian material palette to create warm and inviting interior spaces. Punctures in the form bring in natural light throughout as the design connects the house to nature. If you want to know more about this project story, click on the link mentioned in the description below. It will take you to our website buildofi.com where you can become a member and download full PDF ebook including detailed floor plans. section elevation with dimensions and the material ballot you can download 250 plus pdf ebooks of the houses span india our members also get to see full length film where the architect walks us through the house explaining the spaces till then i hope you enjoy this video the name anahat means from the heart the whole idea started by how do we create a habitat that balances the lifestyle for the uh, the clients who will be eventually living here and more importantly like how it is safe for the movement of the horses because the whole site was designed as a polo field something that we try to do for the first time is to blend the building with the landscape trying to take the building as if it is coming it's breaking the ground and coming from the ground and it is climbing on top of an existing building so the whole idea is to connect the the building to earth and then create this lot of punctures within so that we can actually bring in this beautiful light there are four members in the family and they have a son who's a polo player the project that we are talking about is on the uh, the border of delhi and noida and one thing that's unique about the the site is that while being in the city when somebody walks in it feels completely disconnected from the city life and that's because it's on the border of band road so on one side it's all agricultural land on the other side it's the huge corporate offices so the site that was available to us was a 2 and 1/2 acre land and uh, this is the uh, the band road that segregates the city And there is this access road and the entry that is coming to the site from here there is this horse stable in the southern corner and an existing building in the top corner so what we wanted to do is to retain this entry and to let this central space between the house and the uh, the stable be as much uh, landscape and uh, open as possible and to leave a sufficient area for the paddocks the whole idea started with what if we start the design of the building from the left hand side of the project we have given a pool on this corner and then uh, added more buildings around in the in the middle in here like a connection and segregated this area so basically our entire form sits on the building like this right so that this kind of segregates this private kitchen garden for the clients and also acts like a barrier so that you know this place becomes for the uh, the horses and the private activities in between whereas the pool became part of the building that's the reason why the whole form when you look at it it seems as if it is coming out of the land and protected with this uh, the roof or the the side elevation that we had given and took this building and took it on top of the existing building one of the most unique things about the uh, the project is the way that it connects the past and the present together the fact that we were able to retain the existing structure and then introduce something that is very different from the the rest of the buildings that we see so the whole design was more around how do we break that rigid structure that we had earlier and make it more friendly and welcoming inside so we have an entrance at the uh, the eastern side and the first sun actually falls in this area this entire area the first thing that one sees after entering into the house is this uh, double height staircase it's a spiral staircase that goes to the first floor but that entire thing because it connects two floors together it feels like a double height huge lobby 
when actually reconfiguring the spaces, we wanted the first sun actually to hit the uh, the master bedroom. There is this courtyard that we retained from the previous block, and this was a very essential for us to retain the tree. Here we introduce one more bedroom for the for the daughter with the toilet and the bedroom here. So we created like a sunken court and it leads to the front landscape. So visually when you're actually sitting at the dining or in the living room there is this level drops that are there and the vision it expands into the to the lawns in the front. So when we actually removed the terracotta tiles on top of this roof what we have so we ended up receiving this 7000 terracotta panels uh, the tiles that you see on the back these ones so instead of throwing them we wanted to recycle those tiles and create something more abstract and artistic so there is this variation in the, the spatial quality as you move from one to another when somebody walks out of this uh, dining space through the courtyard and then walks to the poolside uh, lounge, there are these tiny little courtyards where you can actually cultivate a lot of trees and we have this bamboo plantation right next to it and with the spiral staircase that takes to the uh, small terrace. And beyond which the pool opens up. So there is this spiral staircase. This takes to the upper level with the uh, uh, two bedrooms where we have given the sun's room on the top. In here for the staircases, that there is this beautiful uh, translucent fabric that is there with greenery on the other side. And the first thing actually you see is this entire terrace right in front of you through this beautiful louvers. So this entire thing is west where you get actually the maximum sunlight from here. So we wanted to cut the heat that is coming into this space but at the same time uh, create a play of light and shadow. So both of these two spaces overlook the terrace and this entire thing is actually facing the lawns and the, uh, the horse tables. The whole roof is designed with this uh, zinc panels. It gave us the flexibility to play with the form and get this fluidic, like you know, the shape altogether. But if you look at the entire the material palette that we used in the rest of the, the whole project, we, we kept it exposed brickwork with lime plaster, terrazzo flooring and uh, polished concrete. One of the biggest challenges for us was to uh, optimize the costing. So when we started first with the design, the whole roof, the surface area of the roof was almost 8,000 square feet. With the help of this uh, optimization tools, what the, we managed to bring it down to 5,500 square feet area, which is almost like cutting the cost of the, uh, the roofing and the construction by nearly 30%. So this was one of those dream projects for us where uh, we were able to experiment in a way with the, with the form, but at the same time be ecologically conscious with the, the whole approach in terms of how we can play with the material palette and all that. But there was no restriction on the, the use. It was all left to the imagination or how we can really transform the space. So that's something that's very unique in approach.